Hi, I'm Kathy with Canyon Walker Connections. And the two objections I mostly hear from people that are not willing to or not ready to extend full equality, full civil equality to the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community or full inclusion or some inclusion within the Christian church is that gay is a choice, being gay is a choice, or that being gay is a result of some kind of destructive early sexual imprint and some unhealthy family dynamics. And those people will inherently label being gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender as a behavior rather than an inherent part of who they are. So they keep, people will keep saying, <clears throat> until I can find that gay gene, I am just not going to believe that this is how people are born. Well, unfortunately, that pesky gay gene is elusive, as is the heterosexual gene. So until we can find it, and we may never find it, there actually is science that will point to strong indicators that there are links between genetics and hormones in utero and sexual orientation. And sometimes it's as easy as just looking at your hand. So in a typical heterosexual woman, and I'm a heterosexual woman, I hate to think of myself as typical, but in a typical heterosexual woman, the index finger and the fourth digit will be equal in, pretty much equal in length, one-to-one. -one. So you start at the base, go to the tip, start at the base, go to the tip, and it'll be a one-to-one -one ratio. And in heterosexual men, that index finger will be typically shorter. In gay men, that index finger will be longer. And in lesbian women, that index finger will be shorter. These are just statistical results. They're preliminary results, but there is an indication that your hands have a lot of clues as to that there is a link between sexual orientation and genetics. Sticking with your hands. Fingerprints are set in gestation in week 16. Most people have more ridges on the fingerprints of their right hand. Gay men, 34% of gay men will have more ridges. I know you're looking at your hands right now. Look at my video. We'll have 34% of gay men will have more ridges on their, their, their left hand than on their right hand, whereas only 14% of straight men will have more ridges on their left hand than their right hand. So again, can family dynamics or choice change your fingerprints in utero at week 16? I think not. Sticking with your hands still. Let's look at left-handedness and right-handedness. Lesbians have a 91% chance, a greater chance than do heterosexual women of being left-handed. And gay men have a 34% chance greater of being left-handed than right-handed over straight men. So again, people don't make those choices in utero or as they're going through their life. They don't switch their dominant hand depending on their sexual orientation. So we may not have the found the gay gene or the straight gene, but there are strong indicators that something is happening in utero with a possible combination of genetics and hormones that will affect sexual orientation. So until um, we find this gay gene. We may never find it, but we can look at those around us and we can be better listeners, ask questions. And if you have conversation and relationship with gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people, and just ask, just ask, when did you make a choice to have, to have that sexual orientation? Well, first ask yourself, when did you choose to be straight? Well, they're going to tell you a story about Probably, typically, that between five and eight, they knew something was different. And by puberty, they knew that they weren't acting the same way as their straight, uh, opposite sex attracted peers. So something was going on. So I suggest that it is a combination of something genetic and something that's happening in a hormonal uh, wash or some combination of chemical washes within utero, but it is not. It is not a decision. So just look around you, ask questions, but look at the beauty of the people around you that are in the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community. And sometimes the answer to, is it a choice or were they born that way, can be so clear. It, in fact, it could be as clear as the hand in front of your face. Thank you for listening. This is part of a series. There'll be more things I'll be talking about that are that relates science to sexual orientation. 
but come to my blog, Canyon Walker Connections. Thanks for watching. I'm Kathy.